three and then finishing up my career at 190. You know, obviously you guys figure out there's a huge spectrum there. The 103 pattern, I try to do all from the outside. Attack from the outside, being quick, low single, high crotch, no contact. That's, that works well until you know you run into those big pen guys. Right? They're not going to let you just wrestle from the outside. So what I want to talk about this morning a little bit is contact and what we've been dealing with here at Rutgers. When we first, when I got here, the first thing I looked at is my, my upper weight, obviously, but I'm, I'm watching these guys drill and everything they're doing is out of here to here. They're coming in here and they're just wrestling here. And I guarantee you that 90% of you guys are saying to your kids, don't go here to here. Don't go here to here. They're still going here to here to here. You know, coach talked about getting elbow control and not clearing your arm. Well, if you can't score, if you can't clear your arm. I, I also think it's the head. I believe the head's got to get cleared. I got to find a way to clear my head in order to get to his leg. So if I can't clear my head, and in this type of tie up here, I can't clear my head. I can't clear anything. All right? So what I talk about is making good contact. I, I use the term a power hand. I'm a left leg lead, so my left hand is my power hand. And, and as a coach, I teach my kids to control their opponent's power hand and not ever allow their hand, power hand to be controlled. Meaning, uh, from Brian, when he comes out of the back, okay, he just stepped down the line, he's got his right, right foot forward. Well, that's probably his dominant side. So I'm going to take his right hand. Now I've just taken away a few pieces of offense, but not much. Catching a hand, turning it down, maybe. Catching the hand, throwing the palm, turning it down. Maybe he's just catching the wrist on his power hand side. I've just taken away a lot of this guy's offense. While simultaneously doing the left leg lead, leaving my, my power hand open. Alright, so when we make contact, I want to talk about making contact. I make contact with my opposite hand, thumb down, right in here. Right in here. And I make deliberate contact. I don't, I don't want to flow, I'm not coming from the outside. I'm, not com I'm coming deliberately at his right here. Okay? Simultaneously, I'm pitching. I'm making my turtle head so that I have no neck for him to tie up on. Right? And I talk about hand, head, hand. That's the way I want my motion to go in the contact. So I make contact with my hand. The second thing I make contact with is my head. And then the third one I make contact with is my second hand. Like Coach said, I realized. Stone would have to his repertoire is a really good coach. He's talking so much. You know, Coach Buxton, I agree 100 percent I don't want my hands up here. Ever. I'm giving this guy a back massage. That doesn't do me any good. My hands are already beat. So the hardest thing I've found so far is getting these guys to make contact, move their hands and their feet independently, but simultaneously. I think if you guys can get your wrestlers to move their hands and their feet independently. But at the same time, they're that much better. So once I make contact here with this hand, I don't leave it here. Okay, this guy's most likely going to make contact with me. I'm going to slide it down to a tricep. Okay, so I'm going to bang it here and bang it with head. Something else. It's not going to just stay stationary. Alright? So one little, one little, I just make contact here. Maybe I'll make contact with this. Bang the head here. And just move my feet. Contact, bang your head. Maybe I'll make contact, and then he ties up on the outside, I bang the other way. Okay? Notice the whole time I'm moving, and this is something that I, I uh, try to make my guys define right away. Which, which, lead, which leg do you lead with? You know, sometimes you get these guys that are really good in high school. Well, I, I lead with both legs. I can do a high crotch to the right side, a high crotch to the left side, a single to the right side, a single to the left side. That's great. There's no doubt that's, a, that's an advantage. But what's his dominant side? He's got to have one dominant side. And what I want my guys to do, what I want our guys to do, is I want our guys to move their, their hands and their feet, but the whole time they're in their stance. Their feet are ready to shoot a shot. I'm ready. My back foot's planted. I'm ready to shoot. So when I move my guy, my feet don't change. I'm not now in the right leg stance. Okay, well now it takes time for me to reset my feet. The opponent kind of knows the difference. Alright, so I want to make sure I'm moving my feet in my stand. There's a lot of talk about, okay, which side do I want to attack? How do I want to attack? Do I want to put weight on the foot I attack? Do I want to put weight on the other foot? I like what I'm, 
I don't want any weight on my back. So one thing you work on is just contact. He makes contact with me. I bang his head and tricep, both one way. Now I take back from the hand, back to the other tricep, rotate my head, clear his head, single leg. This leg is nice and wide. All the way from there. So contact, bang that head. When I bang a man's head, it's not a slap, it's a push. And if I can turn it, I will. And I'm using my forearm to drive that. And I'm pulling on this tricep. One, now he's got all the way right here. Well, that's where I wanted to attack. I take my hands and I swim them back to the other side, right here. Now the weight's here. Now there's a nice and single attack. So it's a good little drill to start to work on moving your hands and your feet, okay? So bang, and then pull here on that second one. Bang, pull, okay? Another little one, we talk about the most basic, is coming here, club, club, elbow pose. Club, club, elbow pose, okay? One thing I wanna just talk about, High crotch. High crotch is my, my best shot. Highest percentage of score. When, when I was in high school, we went here and started beat here with 90 pounds that are real strong. So made some adjustments and wrapped as high as I could be. Now here's the difference between Coach and I. He wraps here. I don't. I don't think I'm strong here. I think I'm a lot stronger here. So what I think is twofold, not only strength, but also cutting this corner here. See, when I hear and I wrap deep, it's going to shift his weight. Nice and light. All the weight's here. See that weight. His inside foot where it's heavy. Okay? There was a question earlier. How do you keep your guys up in cement mix? I believe that was the question. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to switch. I get here. Now I'm here. Now I'll finish at the main. Still finish at the main. So you can hop. Right here. Okay. So I'm here. I got tight. I get inside. I want to work. My toes are pushing. Again, my toes are on the inside just like Coach said. Give you a little guy, guys a little idea about the functionality of how we do this in practice. Well, one guy will shoot the roll. Okay. Now, I'm gonna work on knee sliding here. Okay, I don't want my foot up here too far. I've no friend prevented me from going this way. I step up too far, he drives into me. There's nothing preventing me there. I'm going back. So I'm planted in. I use this as a, a windshield wiper, a rudder, a boat. I push. While I do that, I'm throwing my knee in between his feet. I'm also using this inside to pull. Pull as high as I can, just with this one hand. So I'm pulling here. Make him step. I think shots rolls. I'm here. I gotta work real hard to get this knee in between his feet. Get an angle. Yeah. Another reason that I'm gonna do that is if I do pull off a slit. Say an outside shot on our feet. Well, if I come right off the bat, boom here, that's how I got to turn in the corner. So I'm not on my knees long. I don't want this knee to be on the mat the least amount of time possible. So as I close, so in other words, I'm coming here, boom. That feet inside, that backhand is deep. It's a position you guys all saw. Coaching on that turf and on his double. I'm gonna go right there on my crotch too, from here to here. 
Now back right into that turf. Again, my shot hand is not on the elbow. I'm 
pulling him toward me. Now I push the step right in here. Okay? He's tied to another one on my single side. So my power hand is beat to the inside. Okay? Take his ear. You know, turn his head sideways. Take the elbow control right here. Move him right here. Now I push him to the outside. Again. He's beat me. I have to turn his head though. I can't just pull his head straight down. I gotta turn it. Now once I turn it, now I have elbow control. When I push it out, I'm coming right towards the single. Okay, you guys have any questions? So far? You need a gator juice, we go. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay, it's when he's collar tied me to my power hand side. So in other words, my left hand is beat here. So I'm taking his head towards that. Okay, I'm taking his elbow control and bringing it towards me. Now as he stepped in, pop, right there. Okay, the most important one on these elbow sets is once his elbow comes to the outside, beating it with my shoulder. Whether it's a high level attack or a low level attack, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alright? Taking off a two on one. Okay? Taking off a two on one. Head position is important here. Same thing. I don't want my head up here. No good. This, I waste, I'm shutting myself out. How can I attack? My, my wrestler's here. He's doing a lot of work to get to here. I, how can he attack? How can I attack? Very difficult, right? Maybe a high level, but it's difficult. So when I take the two on one off, I put my head right in his, I put my ear on his shoulder, then forehead into his temple. I'm as high as I can be on the delt. I turn this and put pressure towards it. Now I do. Little pull, simple pull. Glass, pull, replace, pull. He pulls back, hip. I like G, you know, it doesn't cost me a lot. Okay, come up, replace it. All right, when you guys, when your kids are putting these in the front head, this is no good. Coach is going to just double me. No good. Okay, you can't just snap with the same hand, even if it's a back leg hand. That doesn't work. Okay? Power hand still down. Club it into the power hand. Now my chest is up on me with my head, stomach and chest right here. From here I'm bringing it down. Okay? So, pose, contact. Maybe I take a shot here, move back. Boom, boom. Right here, tight. Now I put it down to the back. When I do, try to let this hand that's on the chin slide. Try to do it slow. Right here. Okay. Again, he recognizes all my uh, south lead, uh, south bar left piece. So he takes my left hand. Maybe he takes it. Give it to him. And then I have it. Across, down. He stepped with that foot. Too many times, they don't put it right in there. Right there. Now, even high levels. Okay? Just your hand. Okay, and then both sides. And your hand. Just work on getting my feet moving. His head. Or his feet moving. Okay? So just near hand. Take a wrist. Supposed to be stationary. I can back up. Put up the mat steps, controlling elbows. I'm pulling them, but it may be Oh, that front head is 
Boot scooter here. Coach McGrath tries to start to shoot the corner. He beats me here. I'm back, okay? All I'm doing. Coach might beat me. I am up and throw up the mat. Scramble build. Sit out the back. Take the belly like this. Scramble with his feet on the back. So he starts to cut it and he's walking around. He's walking around. Post inside the and I can do it right off of an outside shot. He starts to spin. Boom. Up. Out. Up. Now back. Got to move myself.
Zach Esposito does it. Guys control my wrist. Side on one duck. Collin time. He hit Doug Schwab with it twice in one period. Must work. Right? Here. Make some step. Bang, bang. He's got my wrist. Again, I'm gonna put my wrist. One of the Greg Strobel. The guy coaches the Olympic team. This is what he taught me. Put your hand in his wrist. Put your wrist in his hand. It's pretty basic, right? My dad taught me too. It works. Okay? Right here. Pull. 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 Get the collar tie. Push his head here. Bring his head back. <laughs> Similar motion to when you're returning the guy. When you come here, you block right here. That's the next block. So, right here. And take his head here, here, here. Chop.